Hi folks and welcome back to some more content by The Online Physiotherapist. It's Tim here and what I want to discuss with you today is why you need to be using the foam cup for ice application rather than an ice pack. So why do we want to limit uh, swelling by using ice? Well, swelling ultimately causes pain by that pressure buildup. Swelling is good in the first 48 hours where your body releases natural chemicals to help the healing process kickstart. However, we need to start limiting that swelling to improve our recovery. So why does a normal ice pack not work so effectively? Well, the research has found that actually to penetrate deep enough into the tissues to create that vasoconstriction, to, to produce that effect where your, your blood vessels are, are tightening to produce the, the inflammation, it's just not effective enough. It's just not getting them cold enough to create that effect. So we've produced this method, which uh, the evidence has found has uh, a really, really good effect to get deep enough. And how does the foam cup uh, application work? Well, you fill it with water, you pop it in your freezer. Once it's frozen, you take it out, you snip around the foam ridge of this cup, um, you run it under a little bit of warm water, and then you apply it straight on to the site. So whether that is an elbow for tennis elbow, whether that is an ankle for a lateral ankle sprain, uh, whether that is your knee, um, you can just plop it, pop it straight on. And, and ultimately, how long do you need to hold an ice pack for? They say 20 minutes, three minutes for a foam cup. Because you're going directly on it and because you're not creating a barrier in between the ice and your skin, you're creating a much more effective um, ice application. Now in the evidence, it hasn't found that any ice burns um, are applied. However, you've got to be obviously quite careful that we don't start sticking onto your skin. That's why the warm water at the beginning just helped to take the sharp edges off and also just provide a bit of lubrication as you start to move. Please be assured, if you do start to start sticking, take it off and put it under some warm water. However, it should be absolutely fine. We're just going for three minutes, continually moving on that portion wherever you need to. So I hope you felt that really, really helpful. Um, if you do uh, like the video, um, then please just touch that like below. Uh, please do subscribe to our channel to receive some weekly content, which we feel is going to really benefit you um, in your daily life. So also the other thing is if you find that somebody else might benefit from this video, please do share it with them uh, because it will just help spread this information. So thanks so much for joining us and we really look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.